Hello and welcome to the 7 tutorial in Microsoft Visual Base 2008. We're not going to go over coding today, we're just going to go over another visual aspect of the application. So, go ahead and make a new project and call it Progress Bar. Now, before we start this, I'm going to tell you and to any advanced coders who might be watching this, this is not the best way to use progress bars this is to only be used in a fake application so you can see how they can increment and move so this is just the easiest way ever of using it and I'm actually going to make a tutorial later on about an advanced way of using progress bars actually in your applications so this is just going to be a simple way to just try and explain t to you how they work with the values and things so in input onto tools and drag a progress bar and a button and for the text of the button we're going to change it to well add 10 and then we're going to click on the progress bar and on the properties make sure that the minimum equals 0 and the maximum equals 100 Okay, when we've done that, du double click, add 10. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say progress bar 1 dot value equals progress bar 1 dot value plus 10. Okay, so it's. I'm going to explain this. At the moment, right here, if you'll see the progress bar is completely white. That's the minimum which is zero it's here zero and whenever we add 10 we're going to add a value of 10 and it's just going to I'll just show give you an example now so once we click add 10 this will add 10 to the progress bar and we can do this 10 times until it's at 100 so we'll add 10 add 10 add 10 and we can keep going until it's 100 there we go so that will add add 10 every time to the progress bar we can change this if you want to add 20 we can add 20 or we can even change the properties of the progress bar to be maximum a thousand which is pretty you have to click this quite a few times there you go, see, it's just, this is not the best way to use it. I'm going to explain a different way next time about using times of progress bars, and then I'm going to explain to you how to actually increment a progress bar as you execute your code. So that was just a, a basic tutorial on progress bars and Visual Basic. If you have any questions, if you have any problems with this, then just leave a comment. I'll reply as soon as possible. If you have any suggestions about how I carry out my tutorials, then leave a comment. And if you have any, if you have any request for the tutorial, then leave a comment too. So just rate the video, whatever you feel the appropriate rating is, and please subscribe for many more tutorials.